the best knot to end your stitching with this is one I learned from my professor my sophomore year I think it was the most valuable thing I ever learned. So you take a tiny stitch next to the end where your thread is, um, not through all the layers because you don't want it to show on the good side. You can have a loop. Get it kind of small, but don't make it go on the way in. Put your needle through that loop. Now I've got that second loop about to show. So I'm going to make my first loop smaller. I'm doing this just to show you. Normally it goes really fast. Now, like a figure eight, the needle goes into the second loop. You see that? I'm going to pull that needle through that second loop. Come together, hold it, pull a knot. Beautiful. Fray check it if you want, if you need to, especially around the zipper, a button. And then I'm going to hide the tail. What I do is I stick the needle back in the fabric, into the seam allowance part, so it's not coming out the other side. Um, pull it in so the tail goes into the seam allowance. Now, a lot of times you can't get that needle out on the other side. So you'll, um, you know, it's like a pillow or something where you, the needle just doesn't come out. So you bring it out, bring it up so you can get the needle, retrieve the needle, pull it through, and then you'll kind of pull a little taut. Uh, you'll clip it, the, whoops, the extra thread very close to the, where it ends, and then you can just hide that tail inside where it's hidden.